I cannot believe you are making me join a conference call on my holiday. Well, Sarah, it just shows how dedicated you are. Yes, so dedicated. So what is the urgency? Mahalo! Huh? Why are you saying thank you? I'm being polite and saying hello. Oh, God. Anyway, James has a new teleconferencing client and they are struggling to get everyone to use the service. They just don't think they are communicating the benefits properly. Sarah, it's becoming really hard and Isa and I just don't know what we should be telling them. We know you've done this before, so please help. Calm down, guys. First of all, you need to understand that implementing any kind of change is going to be difficult. And when it comes to technologies such as teleconferencing, people are going to be a little hesitant. That does make sense. So what are some tips that we can provide? Aloha! Firstly, your client needs to get buy-in from others within the organisation. It's all about having senior management and all users understand the benefits and want to be part of the change. Ah, so if your colleagues and managers are on board, they'll be more inclined to be part of the process. Exactly. Also, research is incredibly important. I mean, would you go on an amazing holiday to an amazing place like Hawaii without first researching the best places to stay and the most exciting things to do? All right, Sarah, let's stick to helping James and not making us so jealous. Oh, sorry. What I meant to say was it is a good idea to take a look online. There are so many studies that support the use of teleconferencing. Doing some research is a great way for your client to put a business case together and then use it as social proof. So it's almost like they're looking for backup based on the benefits that other organisations have seen. That's it. If similar organisations are seeing results, then that can be hard to ignore. I completely agree, Sarah. We've also put together a brief implementation plan. Do you think we should send this out in this week's blog? Absolutely. I'll send you some other tips that you can include in the blog as well. There's a lot that can be done. But you're on holidays. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. That's true. Isa, can you please... I'm already on it. Enjoy your trip and we'll see you soon. And Sarah? Yes, Isa. Aloha. Feel free to look at this week's Redback Talk blog for more tips and your complimentary copy of our teleconferencing implementation plan. More at Redback Talk. Until next time.